Hey guys, it of Essentials here. For today's video, I'm going to be transforming the look of my old bar stool. I took a careful look at the bottom to see where I was going to start. And the first thing that I did was to detach the base from the seating. If you're new to my channel, it's so great to have you here. Now don't forget to click on the subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my latest videos. I'm going to keep this aside. Now the next thing I'm going to do is look for a top that I can use that will be able to fit the base using the same screw specifications. I thought about going to the thrift store to look for an old office swivel chair and I was also keeping my eyes open hoping someone was going to throw one away. <laughs> And then I remembered that I had an old swivel chair at home that had an issue with the back. So I decided to just use that instead and then remove the base to see if it was going to fit. This is the base for the bar stool. Now I'm going to be putting the top that I removed from the other office swivel chair on top of this one. Hopefully the screws work. I have looked around the base for other swivel chairs and not all of them work. That's why I got a little bit worried. So let's see if this works. It worked! I am so happy about this because, like I said before, I have seen different base with different screw specifications for swivel chairs. So for this to fit and to have both chairs right here in my home without spending a dollar is awesome. And I'm so happy about that. I'm going to go ahead and remove the base and start working on the sitting. And I'll be replacing the shorter back that I had before with something much longer. I won't really be doing much at the front, but for the back, I'm going to tuft it. And I'll be starting off by attaching one inch foam to it. After doing that, I'm locating the middle to find out where the knocker head is going to be. And I'll be using a duct tape as my measuring guide to draw a circle. After that, I'm going to be making points for tufting. I made holes where the points are with a pair of scissors and also made deep groove on the circle using a sharp X-Acto knife to make it easy for the knocker head to actually sit in comfortable on the foam. I'll be using spray adhesive on the foam and attaching batting to it. After doing that, I got gray fabric that I got from Joanne. And I got this particular color because it fits with the one that I have in my living room. All I'm going to do is locate where the points are and use a staple gun on it. Now this was really, really hard because I didn't have a heavy duty staple gun. So I'll recommend using a heavy duty staple gun for this project. I am done with the tufting. The next thing I'll do is fold and staple down the sides neatly.
For the bottom part of the chair, I'm going to use a staple gun and a hot glue gun. This is how I'll be closing the sides for the backrest, and it's going to overlap and come to the front. I stapled it down, and then I later used silver trim that I got from Walmart to cover up the sides. I'll use the same silver trim to cover up the top as well. And I attach these trims using tack nails and a glue gun. This is where the knocker head is going to be and I got one online and the best that I could get was in gold but I needed it in silver so I spray painted it silver and it messed up with the shininess. Ugh. So what I did was to use Mod Podge over it and sprinkle glitter on it. I waited for it to dry and then shook off the excess glitter. After that, I attached it to the chair. The knocker head that I used does not come with screws. So luckily for me, I had one inch screws at home and that's what I used to attach this to the chair using the holes that were on it. I then attached what I made to the base. Now to cover up the staple pins, instead of using crystal buttons like I always do, I'm just gonna use regular buttons and cover them with fabric. Now my awesome bar stool is complete. I love how easy this was to make. I have to say this is one of the easiest DIYs I have ever done when it comes to furniture. Because all I did was just transfer one top, that's from an office chair, to the base of a regular bar stool. I just cannot get over the fact that I used items that I already had at home to recreate a beautiful bar stool for myself. If you will want to use this idea to make up your bar stool, remember to always check the screw specifications and make sure they match. Are you guys aware that I have opened a merchandise store? Well, I have, and it's easy to locate it. When you click on any of my videos, it'll be right at the bottom. There are regular basic items that I put up on sale and they all come in different colors. And don't worry guys, because I have another store coming up pretty soon with Home Decor Essentials. Your purchases and contributions mean a lot to me and it helps my channel. And I am so thankful for all of you who have started making purchases already. I really do appreciate you all. I hope you all like this bar stool idea and learned one or two things from it. Now don't forget to like this video and share it with your friends and families as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. I have other home decor DIY videos that are linked in the description box below to check them out. And don't forget to click on the subscribe button.